Tarantulas are the largest known arachnids, so it can be frightening to find one in or around your home. They aren't naturally aggressive, but if provoked, a tarantula will bite, causing pain and swelling. So in this video, we'll teach you how to get rid of tarantulas and other pests in and around your home. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To buy the products featured in this video or to learn more about tarantulas, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Tarantulas are not just the largest spiders, but they're also the largest known arachnids in the world, growing up to 1 to 4 inches in body length. If you include the legs, some species get to be at least 12 inches long. What's also distinguishing is a tarantula's hairy body. A tarantula's body hair can often make it appear larger than it really is. Most tarantulas are usually black or brown in color. Specific species can also feature red, orange, or yellow fur. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Wild tarantulas in the U.S. are typically encountered in warmer, drier climates, like in California, Arizona, or Texas. They can be found outside in desert regions, but are also known to wander into homes accidentally. If you suspect tarantula activity on your property, look for any tarantulas themselves or for any signs of infestation. Also, note any entry points spiders or other pests can use to invade your home. Tarantulas are nocturnal and hunt for food at night. During the day, you can find them in their underground burrows or hiding underneath debris. Tarantulas do not make webs like most spiders do, but they do spin silk to create egg sacs, which they'll guard closely. Tarantulas are actually very timid and prefer to stay away from humans. If you find one inside your home, please consider trapping and releasing them outdoors. Be cautious as tarantulas will bite if they feel threatened. The bite is painful and may cause swelling or lesions, but is overall non-lethal. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. First, clean and declutter in and around your home. Tarantulas can establish burrows in overgrown areas and hide where clutter is dense. You'll rearrange boxes indoors, mow the lawn, trim overgrown shrubs, and pick up wooden debris. Address any entry points you may have found and apply exclusion methods to ensure no further pests can invade. Tight cracks and crevices may be filled with caulk, while larger voids may need to be stuffed with copper mesh. You may also need to repair any torn screens or a fixed brush or rubber seals on doors and windows. After you've cleaned, you'll need to treat your yard with a broadcast application of Bifen LP. Bifen LP is a granular insecticide made to eliminate turf-dwelling pests. The goal of this application is to eliminate the tarantula's main food source, so they'll be encouraged to relocate off your property. With a broadcast spreader, apply up to the labeled rate of 4.6 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area for full coverage of pests in your yard. Once you've evenly distributed the bifen granules over your lawn, you'll need to activate them with water. You can do this with an application of Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a liquid insecticide that will treat pests on contact, and it will leave a residual that continues to control pests after it dries. We recommend you make the application with a handheld pump sprayer, since you'll need to treat both outdoors and indoors. Mix a solution at the product's labeled rate of 0.33 fluid ounces to one whole fluid ounce of Supreme IT per one gallon of water over 1,000 square feet. Use the higher amount if you're dealing with a heavy pest infestation. With your sprayer, evenly broadcast your product over the treatment area. Be sure to use a fan or cone setting with low pressure to ensure you get full, even coverage. Once you've activated the bifen, conduct a barrier application with Supreme IT around the perimeter of your structure. First, spray any entry points like doors, windows, and other voids pests and spiders can use to invade. Then, spray your structure's outer perimeter by spraying 3 feet up the structure and 3 feet out. Next, apply your solution indoors. Treat entry points like doors and windows where pests may be hiding. Pay close attention to cracks and crevices. This includes baseboards, around water pipes, and behind and underneath appliances. You'll want to treat in attics, basements, and garages. When complete, allow the solution to dry. This product will leave a residual that lasts for up to 90 days and will control many pests. Labeled pests that make contact with the residual will have their nervous system impacted, eventually dying in several hours. 
If you encounter any spiders while applying, you may spray them directly, as residual effects from insecticides have little effect on spiders anyway. After chemical treatment, set up glue traps to monitor for any further activity. Use Solutions Pro glue boards for easy setup and placement. Simply remove the trap's waxy paper seal, and lay the trap flat and flush against the wall near where you've seen pest activity out of the reach of any children or pets. If you, a child, or a pet get stuck on these glue boards, you can use cooking oil to loosen the trap's stickiness. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. To stop tarantulas and other pests from invading, you'll need to address any moisture issues you may be having inside your home. Pests are attracted to moist rooms, so fix any leaky pipes, address any air conditioning problems, drain any standing water, and dry your sinks every night. Continue to pick up and clean inside and outside of your home to get rid of any potential tarantula harborages. Rake the lawn regularly, pick up any debris, and keep firewood properly stacked away from your home's foundation. Finally, keep up with timed applications of Supreme IT. Supreme IT has a 90-day residual effect, so we recommend you spray quarterly to keep pests away year-long. Tarantulas are docile creatures. If you found them in your home, we recommend trapping and relocating them. But there are professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn that can stop tarantulas and other pests from infesting your home. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.